Ever since I was a little kid, I've always been obsessed with fantasy and storytelling. When reading, I loved imagining the magical worlds the author painted in my mind as I read. The characters they depicted with their creative words that made the characters seem real to me, like they jumped out of the pages into the real world. Epic battles between light versus dark, seeing through the eyes of the character. Sometimes they win and sometimes they lose. I love going through the pages of their lives. Like I am in the story, either watching over the character or I was the character. Feeling their happiness, anger, and grief had me so enthralled that I could never put down the book. So it was no surprise when I started to fall in love with Dungeons and Dragons, though I was not born in the 70s nor 80s when it first came out. I really understand why it was so popular and still is to this day. I first found out about D&D when I decided to take Game and Sim in freshman year. There was a gaming club that I could go to to play video games and or Dungeons and Dragons. And I was like, heck yeah! My friend was part of this club and knew a lot more than me about Dungeons and Dragons and showed me how to play. And because of her, I wanted to create my own world and characters that I imagined. D&D completely changed my outlook on RPG in general. It brought a whole new light to them and brought me closer to people who have similar interests to mine. Dungeons and Dragons has been a big part of my life now more than ever. When COVID hit last year, I went through a whole lot while staying inside all the time, not being able to see my friends or go to school like we normally did weighed me down but playing D&D online with friends on teams has brought me some happiness and joy in life while we were going through these tough times. I was not the only one that was impacted by Dungeons and Dragons. In How D&D Changed the Culture by James Pinwalk, March 05, 2008, he states D&D helped give that to pop culture and in the process it gave something to the players as well the confidence that through imagination they could become anyone to freaks and daniel and geeks like sam the message of dnd was no small thing in the words of daniel's carlos the the dwarf it told them the dragon has been slain and you are free to rule the kingdom and how in Dungeons and Dragons Saved My Life by Levy A. Miles. Dungeons and Dragons has saved me from becoming someone who just sits in the background, someone who lacks the confidence to try new things and who is too scared to voice their opinion. It saved me from a life of not taking risk because I was not sure that it would happen. And it saved me from choosing the path of least resistance. Dungeons and Dragons to many people has become not just a game, but our imagination slowly and surely became a part of our culture today. It has changed our lives for the better and should be taken seriously because D&D is more than what meets the eye.